Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to online class series of Ruiz Punch. Today, in this video, I would like to discuss with you the basic grammar portion of English language. And I hope that all of you are doing great and you will be following this properly. And uh, at last, there will be an assessment of our classes. Today, uh, we are going to discuss about tense and tense forms. As you know, there are three tenses in English language. Past, present and future. And these all tenses will be divided into four tense forms. That means simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. So this basic information you should have before we start our discussion on the tense. So today uh, we will be discussing about past tense and its forms. As you know past tense means something happened before. In such cases we will be using sentences of past tense. So I am going to give you first the formulas when its sentences and uh, a little bit of translation in Urdu too. So as to be easy to be carried on. In simple past tense, its formula comes as subject plus verb second form plus object. For example, I prepared a project. Many Ek project tayar kiya. So this is the simple past form. The next one is past continuous. Its formula comes as subject plus was or verb plus verb ing plus object. For example, I was preparing a project. I was preparing a project. Me a project tayar kar raha tha. I hope you can follow me. The next form is past perfect. Its formula comes as subject plus had plus verb third form plus object. For example, I had prepared a project. Main ek project tayar kar chuka tha. Main ek project tayar kar chuka tha. I had killed a snake. Main ek saam ko maar chuka tha. Uh, you can make your own examples in your own works. So now we have discussed here simple, past, past continuous, past perfect and at last in the past tense the fourth form is that past perfect continuous. Its formula comes as subject plus, had been plus, verb ing plus, object. Let us take an example of I had been preparing a project. Here we have to remember one thing. In this tense there will be sometimes since or for. For example, we may saying that I had been preparing a project for last two months or 
I had been teaching in this school since 2002. Here we have to remember one thing. Past tense means something happened before. So teaching in this school that is something happened before. So this should be in our memory the usage of since and for. What is the difference between since and for? Where we will use since and where we can use for? The answer is for we can use if there is no an accurate time. We are saying an approximate time, a duration. So we can say for. For example, I had been making a project for last two months. We are not specifying a time or uh, since uh, morning or since 10 o'clock or since 1997. While we are saying such kind of things, we can add the since. Okay? I hope you got it. So anyway, in this video, let's sum up. We have discussed here tense. Tense means a word which will give us an information about a thing which is connected with a time. That is in English basically there are three tenses past, present and future. And these three of them will be divided into four, four uh, forms. Simple, continuous, perfect, perfect, continuous. And today we have discussed here uh, past tense. Simple past, he prepared a project. Many a project tayar kiya. Past continuous, I was preparing a project. Many a pro project tayar kar raha tha. Past perfect, I had killed a snake. Main ek saam ko maar chuka tha. Past perfect continuous, I had been preparing a project for last two months. Or since a morning, I had been preparing a project since morning. Main subar se lekar एक प्रोजेक्ट तैयार करते रहा था सो दिस आर फॉर टुडे वीडियो इनशाला लेट्स मीट इन नेक्स्ट क्लास हैव ए नाइस डे थैंक यू थैंक्स अलॉट असल वरहमत